I'm Neha, and this is Mary. We are product managers at Google Cloud Networking. In this session, we'll explore how you can unlock traffic visibility on Google Cloud Network using VPC flow logs and flow analyzer. So why is observability essential in today's complex networks? Modern networks span on-premises data centers, multiple cloud providers, and countless interconnected network resources within your GCP deployment. As you scale, you introduce more complexity. To effectively monitor and troubleshoot this network, you require tools that can provide detailed insights into your network traffic. VPC Flow Logs provides a comprehensive solution, giving you the visibility into the traffic within entering and leaving your GCP environment. VPC flow logs record information about the tra IP traffic flowing through VPC. Think of it as a detailed log of network conversations happening within your network. Each log entry provides crucial details, such as who is talking to whom, identified by the source IP and destination IP addresses, which channels are they using, identified by the source port and destination port numbers. What language are they speaking? Determined by the protocol field. Together, these five key fields, source IP, destination IP, source port, destination port, and protocol, form the five tuple which uniquely identifies each network flow. In addition to these, you can also learn how quickly are they responding using the round trip time field. How much are they talking? provided by the byte and packet counts. When did they talk, recorded by the timestamp field. And also, additional metadata for context. In addition to the five tuple we just discussed, VPC flow logs also provides you valuable context through metadata annotations. These annotations transform raw log data into actionable insights. For example, instead of just showing you the source IP address of a VM within GCP, Flow logs can also reveal the VM's name, region, project ID, and VPC details. For GKE workloads, you'll find information about the cluster, pod, and services involved. For hybrid or cross-cloud scenarios, you can infer the names, location, and other details of the interconnect attachments and VPN tunnels that were used by a traffic flow. And when dealing with internet traffic, you can gain geographic insights like the ASN, continent, country, and city of the internet endpoint. Additionally, there is also metadata for private service connect, load balancers, and AS path for internet traffic. This rich metadata eliminates the need for manual lookups and correlation of information from multiple sources. It allows you to quickly understand the context surrounding each network flow and helps you aggregate the data. Let us illustrate VPC flow logs with an example scenario. Consider a VM in GCP with IP address 10.10.0.2 communicating with an internet endpoint at 203.0.113.5. When the VM initiates a connection, sending a packet to the internet endpoint, a flow log record is generated. The record includes the phi tuple information, along with the number of bytes and any relevant metadata. The record also identifies the source VM as the reporter of the flow. When the internet endpoint responds, sending a packet back to the GCP VM, another flow log is recorded. This record also contains the five tuple information, but with the source and destination IPs and ports reversed, reflecting the direction of the traffic. This record identifies the destination VM as the reporter of the flow. Let us now discuss how you can use VPC flow logs. You can use them, one, for monitoring, to gain real-time visibility into traffic reaching your applications, to monitor cross-region traffic, traffic to on-prem, traffic to other clouds, and internet traffic, to identify top talkers within your network, to understand the usage patterns, for capacity planning by analyzing traffic volumes and trends, to facilitate cost attribution by tracking network traffic associated with specific resources, Two, for security, to detect unknown and undesired network traffic, enhancing threat detection. Analyze network flows originating from compromised IPs and network interfaces to investigate security incidents. Seamlessly export flow logs to preferred SEM and IDS tools for advanced security analysis. Three, 
compliance, archive flow logs to meet regulatory requirements, verify network isolation to ensure adherence to security policies, maintain a comprehensive record of the network activity for auditing purposes. Four, for troubleshooting, you can diagnose connectivity issues, you can identify and resolve configuration issues, minimizing downtime and service disruptions. So how can you get started with VPC flow logs? You can enable VPC flow logs on your subnets, VLAN attachments, and VPN tunnels, giving you a comprehensive coverage of your network. Once enabled, the flow logs generated can be sent to cloud logging, BigQuery, cloud storage, or PubSub. Logs stored in cloud logging can be analyzed using our native analysis tool, Flow Analyzer, at no additional cost. To analyze the logs stored in BigQuery, you can build your own queries. Logs from PubSub can be sent to our third-party partners for analysis. And with that, I'll hand it over to Mary, who will walk you through a demo of how you can gain insights with your flow logs and flow analyzer. Let's get started. First, we are going to navigate to VPC flow logs in the Cloud Console. Here, we can see all of the active VPC flow log configurations on the subnets. For example, we can see that the default subnet in Europe West 1 has a flow log aggregation interval of five seconds, 100% secondary sample rate, and metadata on. Great, that maximizes observability in flow logs. Let's make sure that all of the subnets have VPC flow logs enabled to ensure we're aligning with network observability best practices. By clicking Add New Configuration under Subnets, we can see a list of all subnets and if they have VPC flow logs enabled. In this case, only a subset of the subnets have VPC flow logs enabled. So we're going to select all, then click Manage Flow Logs to configure VPC flow logs on all subnet resources. These VPC flow log configuration settings are designed to help your organization balance traffic visibility needs with cost. To optimize for traffic visibility, we're going to select a five second aggregation interval and 100% secondary sample rate with all metadata included. Perfect. Now we have VPC flow logs enabled on all the subnets in the project. Let's navigate back to the VPC flow log UI now that we're ready to visualize how traffic is flowing through our network. Let's click View in Flow Analyzer to query our VPC flow logs stored in cloud logging at no additional cost. By default, our network traffic is aggregated by the source IP so we can easily see the top talkers in our network. Let's explore our options in Flow Analyzer. When you hover over the chart, you can see trends about the rate of traffic for the top talkers in your network. If you click Details for a given top talker, you can better understand that traffic flow with rich metadata populated from your VPC flow logs. If we want to understand how this traffic flow compares to a period in the past, we can help spot potentially anomalous behavior by clicking Compare to Past and visualizing what the traffic between this source and destination look like at this same hour, but a day prior. This will help us detect any concerning traffic patterns. Let's say we want to understand what firewall rules, routes, and configurations might be impacting this top talker. If we click Run, we can actually kick off a connectivity test in context to perform a current static configuration analysis using the source and destination for this flow. There's no cost to running connectivity tests in context in Flow Analyzer. Now, let's say we want to zoom out and understand all of the cross-regional traffic in our network over the last 15 minutes. Let's add GCP region into the source and destination of our analysis. We do need to make sure that we only show cross-regional traffic, so let's add an expression into the WHERE clause that will help. Source GCP region is not equal to the destination GCP region. Let's also change the time period to aggregate flows over the last 15 minutes. Now, let's switch to basic filters and carefully select the right metadata to explore more traffic flows. Keep in mind that there's no additional cost to use Flow Analyzer to query VPC flow logs stored in cloud logging, and we encourage you to run iterations of queries to become comfortable with the tool and gain insights on your network traffic. If you want to see or use the underlying SUL queries, you can always click View the Query in Log Analytics for further analysis. Let's say we want to understand all traffic traversing to the internet over the last 14 days. 
Let's change the inputs to add the right destination metadata to craft this query. To streamline the analysis, let's add a filter in destination to ensure that we only look at egress traffic with the metadata that populates in VPC flow logs when the traffic is, is external. In this case, we'll filter by city is known, which is another way of saying that value is not null. In addition to understanding the byte sent, we can also visualize the aggregate packets in the results, which can be helpful for diagnostics workflows. Let's gather more insights about the first top talker by clicking details. This time, we'll select the egress AS path tab to learn more about the AS path this traffic took when egressing to the internet. With this feature, you can easily visualize the most common AS paths taken by this given source IP when sending traffic to that destination IP. This comes in handy when diagnosing and optimizing traffic to the internet. There are numerous possibilities to how you can query your VPC flow logs in Flow Analyzer to gain deep contextualized insights on your network traffic to optimize for performance, security, availability, and cost. We hope you enjoyed the quick tour of VPC flow logs in Flow Analyzer. How do you plan to use VPC flow logs to better understand your network traffic? We'd love to hear from you. Feel free to drop us a note at vpcflowlogs at google.com and we'd be happy to connect with you and discuss your observability needs.